I've done nothing but sit behind the computer for the past two and a half weeks coming up with a design and 3D model. So yeah, let's finally start building this thing. Let's go. All right, so here's what I have so far. You can see there's two access doors. Um, the side door here is so I can uh, get the overflow powder. And the door on the front is how I'll access the build chamber. You can see I got a little uh, safety laser glass window here so we can hopefully record what I'm doing. Uh, if I hide the body panels. Um, yeah, you can see the aluminum extrusion frame, uh, the build chamber, the laser is going to shoot down and uh, go through this protective glass. Um, that's why I need this all enclosed. And you can see um, my gas recirculation system back here. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll go into too much detail um, today. I want to start building this frame so we can put this all together. All right, here we go again. I've got a stack of 4040 extrusion. I think these are 1200 millimeters long that I need to cut down to size. And I've got four that are 1500 millimeters long and a stack of corner brackets. So let's get started. All right, those 12 pieces are done. Now using the off cuts, I need to lay out uh, the next 11 pieces. Oh my God, I hate cutting aluminum extrusion. It's such a mess. All the extrusions cut to length. I think before I start assembling everything, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the plywood panels while I still have daylight. Plywood panels are ready, so let's start assembling the frame. All right, it's starting to come together. I think I need to go ahead and put the first layer of plywood on, otherwise I don't think I'll be able to get it in there once I put on the next level. I got the next layer of extrusion on here. I put on some brackets to attach my next plywood panel. This next level is done. Uh, the chamber is going to sit right up here. So yeah, let me keep going and add the next level. I just finished up the next level. Here's where I'm going to mount the Galvo scan head. And then you can see I have some brackets here. I'm going to mount another piece of plywood uh, for some electronics. We're almost done. I just have uh, four more pieces of extrusion here to make up the roof. So let me get those on. All right, there we go. Now we have a frame to work with. I've got some machine leveling feet with casters uh, to install on the frame, but uh, first I need to machine some aluminum mounts for them. I found some scrap material that'll allow me to fit two at a time. So I got my cam file all set up for that. While those parts are being machined, it looks like my uh, metal arrived for the body panels.
I don't have the right size collet for my tapping arm, so it looks like I'll be hand tapping these. I've got some thread mills, I just still haven't learned how to set up the cam to use them. I should probably do that for next time. I guess I should have tapped this extrusion earlier, but uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna do it this way. We have feet, so let me see if I can get this thing upright. bought another monitor keyboard mount um, just like the one I used on this machine. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting that installed. I need to start moving some of this stuff over, that way I can clear up my work table again. The regenerative blower is going to go right down here somewhere. If my calculations are correct, I should be able to just pick up the gavel scan head with its mount and drop it right on the new frame. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, obviously, I'm gonna need to reroute my optical cable and the hoses. Now the fun part of trying to get the laser source down on that bottom shelf. I got the laser source into position. It's gonna go just something like that. I left this hole here to run the optical cable through. Um, now that I'm seeing this, um, this bend radius right here looks like it could be pretty tight. I don't know, I may end up having to like circle around and go down or something. I don't know, I'll have to take a look at that. I've taken apart my temporary stand and I still have all the electronics here. Um, before I wire these up, I want to go ahead and solder proper connectors um, for all these. I was using these breakout boards. For the PC, I was thinking it would be nice to mount it probably right up under here somewhere. This is going to be a door panel that swings open. So I thought it would be nice to be able to just open that up, reach in, and power on the machine. So I need to come up with a mount for that. How's that look? Yeah. Okay, that looks like that should work. I think I'm going to mount the servo drive somewhere right down here. I've taken apart my temporary electronics panel. And I've been playing around with the layout. I'm thinking something like this should work pretty well. So I'm going to fiddle with it here another minute and then probably start attaching everything down. I got everything attached and I even managed to get a little bit of raceway in there. So I guess now I need to restart wiring all this stuff. I've spared you all the wiring footage, but it's coming right along. I've got the 240 volts hooked up to all three power supplies. I also have it running down to the blower, the servo drive, and the laser source. Um, the controller's hooked up to 24 volts, um, also the scan head, and the PC's all plugged in under here. Um, that's pretty much as much as I can do without um, soldering uh, all the rest of the cables that I need. It's getting pretty late here, and I don't think I have the brain power to start uh, soldering connectors tonight. Um, but there's one more thing I'd like to try to do. Um, see this giant pile of components? 
Um, I think I've ordered all the fittings I need for the gas recirculation system. Um, but I think I want to dig through here and do like a, a dry fit of everything and make sure I've got everything I need. I think this pile here is all of my fitting, so I'm going to get this all opened up and make sure I got everything I ordered. Well, that took a while. I've got it all mostly open. I've never used these type of fittings before. Um, everything is uh, KF25. Basically, um, you put this ring in between the connections, like so. And then there's these quick clamps that uh, seal it all together. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to refer to my 3D model to see how this puzzle all goes together. Well, we used every last fitting. Everything seems like it came together pretty well. Um, yeah, let me try to explain what we have going on here. So this is the blower output side. It's just gonna go straight up into this curve piece. And this is a weldable flange, so I'm gonna have that connect to the chamber. For the input side, it goes through quite a maze. First, it's gonna, again, have a weldable flange come down and go into the cyclone filter. Then from there, it's gonna go around and up through the HEPA filter, and then back down into the blower. There's a lot of twisting and turning around here. That's all just so I could fit it into this compact space. We need to start making some parts. Um, I'm gonna multitask. PCB Way offered to sponsor the project, so I sent them um, all of my files for the build chamber. Uh, I thought those would be the hardest for me to machine. So while they're taking care of that, I wanna work on uh, making the build platform and the powder delivery. Got some aluminum tube, square tube here and uh, some stainless steel plate for the build surface. So yeah, well, next time we'll start working on those. Well, it seems to be coming together pretty quickly after all that planning, but uh, there's still a lot of parts to make. Um, laser cutting, welding, machining. Uh, stay tuned for all that. Um, thank you to Skyfire for sponsoring this project. We just held the first DIY fiber laser cutting machine contest last week. That was pretty fun. Um, if you haven't seen the video, maybe check that out. Um, yeah, and thank you to all my Patreon supporters for making all this possible. Thank you, guys.